Hey Lord Bay, welcome back to Direwolf20. We are here today for a brand new episode without the Atom. As you can see, my jetpack and my backpack are now one and the same. They just kind of overlap in the textures. I thought that was funny to point out. I'm going to come back here today. We have put a new frame door in back here. And kind of navigate around this now instead of having to jump through those wires. And uh, so here's the thing, right? Actually, I probably should have grabbed them. But um, we have an order that we're starting to build up a lot of that we probably want to process. And that is the, not raw zinc. We have a lot of that though too. We have to figure out a different way to process that. Uh, it's the resonating, resonating or the different varieties. There's like three different varieties. There's that one, that one, and that one. We also have a lot of res. Oh, well, give me all of them, I guess. We also have all the resonating crystals that we also need to figure out what to do with. But they're they're later. As of right now, I think all I want to do is on this basic smelting factory because we don't have something smelting in here all the time. Is so I want to throw another um refined storage thing on here. I don't know quite where I'm going to put it yet. But just somewhere where I have an open input on it. Maybe on the top. Because uh, we already do have something going through right here. We just put a cover on it then. So probably, yeah, what we'll probably do is... I should probably actually go out to the front through this then because... Easier. And let me go get a cover then because I'm going to want to cover this up. But... Cover... Cool. So I'm going to go in here. Because I didn't realize I had a spot open right here. Top of you, I'm going to set you to input as well. And I'm going to just throw a... Exporter on you. With... Uh, resonating ore, the the deep slate resonating ore, and the nether resonating ore, and then put a cover on you, uh, like, like so, and then boom. So if I throw you guys all in the system now, we're gonna see a bunch of resonating uh, stuff coming here in a second. We gotta search up resonating. Don't see any quite. Oh, we are. It's already building up. We already have like eighty something. So yeah, we have a lot of that to go through that, and uh, it'll smelt it up pretty fast. So. That's slowly it's gonna, you know, give us some of it slowly, and it's gonna keep on giving it to us, and then we're gonna get some copper in there. It's gonna slow down the resonating, or just a tiny bit, but it's only gonna input it when it has the time to. I figure this is going fast enough, and we have something that's open often enough that we might as well try it like this and see what happens. And we're getting quite a bit of these resonating things out of it. Now, that doesn't mean I want to use them right away, but basically just to get them, you know, in a, in a usable form for when we do get into a deep resonance, I figure like that would be a, a good idea. I don't know where we're getting into deep resonance, but <laughs> that, that's uh, it's worth it. Also, as you can see, we don't really have a lot of ancient debris right now. Uh, that's something I was looking at. Uh, yeah, you can combine another it does to get ancient debris. That's actually really bad. That's a bad return. That's one, yeah. That's bad. You're you're wasting a lot there. I think. Wait, three to get... You can get... There might be a dupe glitch in there somewhere, because that's, that's the scrap. That's not the... Uh, no, that, that that you're losing there. So, but ancient debris itself only comes from a few places. Mining it, I guess you can maybe get through the Nether Miner in a level five town, in uh, mine colonies. But that's that's a lot of time to get to that level, and it's only a chance of it. It's what, uh, yeah, point six eight percent chance. Our best bet is actually the Orchidignum, which is from Batania. It's a flower, and we're gonna look into making this today. So it's gonna take some some red, some white, some pink. So. I, Pixie that's we're going to have to make, we're going to have to make Redstone Root, we're going to have to make Rune of Greed and Rune of Pride. Rune of Greed and Pride shouldn't be hard, the Redstone Root's really easy, it's just boom, so we already have that down. So the Pixie Dust is a Mana Pearl. How many pearls do we have? We don't have a lot of pearls, so. Hopefully these, uh, these other runes don't use up a ton of our pearls. What we want to do is go over here. And are you guys good? Yeah, you guys are good, so. One... Two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. And we'll throw you into there. Okay, you're you're doing pretty good. Okay, cool. And you guys probably have enough for a mana pearl. Pixie dust. Ayo. Okay, cool. So that's one thing down off the list for this. Uh, the other one is the rune of greed and the rune of pride. They're gonna each need two mana diamonds. Yikes. Okay, that's a lot of diamond. Uh, diamond. One, two, three, four, not five, four. And then, yeah, so diamond, diamond, and then you're gonna need rune of fire, rune of water, or rune of summer. Rune of summer is gonna need. Oh, wow, it's gonna be a lot of crafting. I did not realize it was gonna be the case. I thought it be like a, just a few little, you know, few little crafts and we're gonna be done. Okay, so rune of greed is gonna need the rune of water and the rune of spring. Do we have any runes of water left over? We might. We have a rune of water. Okay, so we're going to need a 
rune of spring, which is gonna need a rune of two. I oh, got another rune of water and a rune of fire. And I'm pretty sure we don't have any runes of fire left over. But we've made the use before. Okay, so it's just gonna be some infusions, and then rune of summer is gonna probably be a rune of air, rune of earth, and it's gonna be. I mean, we have actually mullins, so we might we might not have. That might be a difficult one. Melon, we have seeds. Um, here's what we could do. Just take a cloche. I made a few extra of them. Got some pipes. Uh, item, fluid, energy. We're gonna need all of them actually for this. And so what we could do is we could just kind of hook up an extra cloche here. Actually, we're gonna wanna, if we're gonna wanna do this, we're gonna wanna get a drawer. A uh, a double drawer. So we want one of these. We're gonna wanna get an upgrade. For both copper, so boom boom. We want this to hold more than like 1k. I'm also gonna want to get a void upgrade just because it's safe. And I actually don't wait. When I throw you in the cloche, let me see what you do. You in a cloche. You just give me back melon. Okay, just give me back melon, not melon slices. Something like uh, seeds. Yeah, seeds, I think. Seeds in a cloche. Get back the seeds in the wheat. Okay, so you're not even going to be back. Give me back what I need. Is there a recipe for melon to just melon slices? Uh, I could cut on a cutting board, metal press with a unpacking, sawmill, multi servo press, sawmill. Okay. That's not bad. Or I can just do it by hand. So actually, I don't need this. I just need a drawer like that. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to do some. I'm going to throw you up in there. This wall is actually now full. Boom. Boom. Um, Let's just actually grow a melon first. So we have like a, you know, a thing here. So we want this and that. We want to throw uh, energy into it. Like so. We want to unpack from it like so. Um, I actually have to switch you to a extract and i also need to get you with a piece of dirt so you could grow something you can see i'm just hanging out there fk i think he's trying to build a time in a bottle or his time in a bottle which uh, mine's starting to get really high as well you want this and that and how you have that already okay so I, what i want to do then is i want to grab you and you and the second you grow a actual melon Yo, you're probably gonna say like, "Oh, I see a little melon growing on there slowly." Let's say, yeah, now that you're grown, because like a normal melon, you probably grow there and then you you stay grown. Let's see what's gonna happen here? You're gonna pop off any second here. That melon can't get too much bigger. It's gonna hit the outside of the thing in a second here. Oh, let's then start growing in more. No, okay, so it's gonna regrow the whole entire thing. All of a sudden, my nose feels. No bueno. A melon. So I want to lock you and then add you to the controller. Okay. Cool. I guess I'm gonna work on these these runes then because I do this. I, I, I kind of got two, so I'll be back in a little bit when I have the runes ready. Okay, I'm helping someone troubleshoot something right now, but. I finished the rune of pride. I've gone through all the runes. This takes two red. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. It takes two red. Q Q. Two white. The pink. The pixie dust. The this. The that. The that. And now plus seeds. I should get myself an orchid ignum. Now, what's really nice about this flower is it takes no mana. And can you take that and like not take it? I don't need it. Take it. There we go. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to grab like something like netherrack. And it's just like the pure daisy. What I can do is I can put down one of these. Right? And I guess I'll put down yet two blocks from there. And if I do this, eventually this should turn into nether uh or ancient debris. Theoretically also, if I throw it a stack, it looks like. Inside the uh yeah, if I give it a stack, it looks like well, it has a chance of turning into. I don't know which one you determine which it turns into. Uh, like the 54 Nether Quart. I mean, I'll, I'll throw a stack and just see what happens. I think that's what this means. A stack. 
Um, come on. Now I have no clue, okay. But all I know is if I put down uh, another acarana like that, it should turn it into ancient debris. Okay, so we ran into a little bit of a problem down here. Uh, so what happened was was our thing back here was not producing enough oxygen. So I gave this more oxygen by giving this speed and what was it? Speed and energy upgrades. And then um, apparently this draws too much power now because it kills like everything. So nothing's being processed back here right now because that calls our you know calls our power to shut down. At least we think so. So what I did was I shoved. And resonant integral component in here, they're really expensive to craft, but when you do craft them, they're, you know, they're nice. So it needs enderium, which needs diamond and ender pearl dust, and uh, lumium, which isn't as bad, but we need a lot of that as well. It's like glowstone and silver and tin. We were doing them in the induction smelter, but in theory with that, now being resonant, we might be able to kick this back on. Maybe. Not sure. We'll try it, and we'll see if the, uh, the energy cell out here starts losing power, and if it do, problem. It, it do. Okay, let's go mine this pipe up. I don't know why this is causing such a problem. I'm wondering if it's not. Tr no, it's definitely transferring enough because that's losing, not not these machines. So, okay, that's fine. I guess for now, we'll have to figure out a way to fix that in the near future with better power sources. But I guess our also I don't know what's going on out here, but you told me that. I guess it's almost day, probably. Yeah. So you told me that if I do like this, I should get nether or ancient debris, and it not doing. So what What up? Not here. What do you mean, not here? Not here. Gotta go in there. How is it working outside my house, then? Gotta go in there. Okay. So, like, where are they? Just, like, next to the portal? No, you gotta go in there. In the nether, right? Yeah, in there. Does it matter where in the nether? There. That's not answering my question! <laughs> I'm saying, does it does it matter where in the nether I do it? All I know, you gotta be in there. Freaking son of a bossack here! So, you placed it outside my house, though, the last time we played. In there. No, you placed it outside my house, though. Why did that in work? There. I know you're in saying there. I know you're saying in there. In here. Listen to me, Linda. In. For a second, I thought I lost it. In there. In. And you're gonna. Any mana? It didn't need mana last time! In there. I'm not. What, what, can I point it on stone? Probably not. Oh. Can you bring both mana yeah. and dirt? Or I'll just do it myself. Okay, so I break that, I put down dirt, I place it on dirt, and you said I need mana and stuff? Okay, so I guess I throw you. What direction are you in? I need my wand. You are yes, that is the direction we want. So throw you in there. Give me, give me mana. I didn't. Well, maybe that's enough. I'm not sure. How much is in there? It's a good amount of mana. I just want my magnet to pick it up. Oh, so that's probably everything right there. Cool. Okay, so you're saying I have to link the mana pool to it? No? Wait, no mana? Mana? Shoot. I don't know. I think it's working now. I don't think I have to shoot mana at it. Oh! Well, it's making nether quartz. I thought you said it made nether, nether uh, ancient debris. Well, I mean, we're trying something here. We're we're doing doing science, and I guess I'm unsure. Do we need another? Oh, is it a chance? And is it? 
Oh. Okay, but... Never mind then, I guess. Okay, whatever. Actually, well, Adam's struggling to get animals back to the barn. I'm gonna end this episode. We'll see you guys next time. I guess we're gonna be focusing on power then, because power is a big issue now. Maybe we'll set up a big reactor or something of that sort. Not sure yet, but I will see you guys then. Bye, guys. Like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff, by the way, anyways. Bye.